Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to show you how you can get started working with your views and templates within Meteor. So essentially what we're going to be doing is creating an array of objects in our view that we can display in our template using a separate template tag. So we're going to go over how to do all that, and it's really nice and easy. And it'll lay the foundation for what's to come, as in taking data from your application itself and then displaying it and perhaps modifying it in some way. So let's get going going on that right now. So let's first take a look at this resolutions.html. In here what we saw before is this welcome to Meteor H1, uh, then we have this double bracket with a greater than and then hello. Now we mentioned briefly that this hello is referencing this template and whatever you put in this template is going to be output by this hello. In fact, this can be immediately apparent just by duplicating this hello tag here. Let's come to our page and you'll see without even refreshing, which is actually one of the best parts about Meteor. I know there's a lot of other auto refresh frameworks and stuff like that uh, that you can use maybe with a, a preprocessor. However, this is just really fast. I made the change in the uh, HTML and it was here in an instant before I could even see the change happen. Okay, so as we saw that this hello is referencing this name hello and then displaying the content inside of here. What we wanna do is we want to actually create a template here that is going to be outputting our resolutions. So I think a good start would be to simply do, let's get rid of everything within the body tag and let's get rid of everything within this template tag. Now let's change the name from hello to resolution. Okay, so this is now going to be our resolution template and to check to make sure it's working, we can just type hello in here, and now let's output our resolution template by doing double brackets greater than, and then the name of our template, which is resolution. Okay, now if we head back, uh, you can see that hello is now being displayed. Okay, so we have, uh, Meteor is recognizing that we have this template simply by outputting it here and giving it a name. Now what we want to do is give our template tag some things to output. Now first, what we want to do is we want to make a unordered list of our resolutions. And what we're going to be doing is iterating over a list of these resolutions and then outputting each one. So you can think about it like this. Uh, we have this template that's resolution this template is going to be a list item every single time it's output. So what we'd wanna do is have the list item inside this template like this, and we would wanna have our resolution name here. For now, I'm just gonna type the word name, uh, or let's just actually say the word title uh, that might be more appropriate. It's a title of the piece of content. And you'll notice these are uh, list items. So let's go ahead and wrap this resolution in an unordered list. Okay, so now when we head back to our document, you can see we have an unordered list with one list item and its name is title. Okay, well this is nothing crazy. It's using everything we already know, just this template tag and basic HTML. So that's great. However, let's actually get this outputting some sort of dynamic content. What we're gonna do is we're gonna define an array of objects in our JavaScript file and then this template is going to be able to access those. So what we're gonna do is come to our resolutions.js and I'm just gonna start deleting everything that's in between these brackets here that says Meteor is client. And uh, I'll leave this is server here because we're not gonna be using it. The stuff that we're getting into in this video is all going to be within this Meteor is client. So this is essentially your front end code. But in Meteor, it's really cool because a lot of the times the front end code and the back end code end up sort of being the same thing. 
And that might be a little weird concept if you're not used to working with Meteor, but you'll see how it all works out and how you can uh, get around it when you need to, okay? So we have inside of this Meteor is client. We wanna go ahead and create what's called a template helper. And a template helper essentially just allows you to use uh, that information on this page. So because we wanna use that helper in between our body tags here and not within our template, we're gonna be using the, the helper in this part of the code. What we can actually do is use a Meteor function and that's accessed by saying template.body.helpers. And then you have your parentheses and then brackets. So let's hit enter here and finish this off with a semicolon. And let's save this. So what this is basically saying is uh, pretty much anything that's in the, the body of our application that's not in a specific template is going to be uh, given the ability to have a helper that's used in your HTML with this template body helpers. You'll see this pattern a lot in Meteor using this Blaze Views system. Essentially what we're defining is different parts of functionality. So for instance, if we have events like a click event or a submitting of a form and it's on the body, it would be under template.body.events. And there's several different more of these template things that you're going to run into as we go over the course of these videos, and it's gonna make a lot more sense. Also, if this template helper needed to be used within this template tag, it would actually be defined as template resolution.helpers. Okay, it might seem a little abstract until we get into some code. So let's type an object in here within our helper. So this object is going to be the helper itself. So let's go ahead and say resolutions. So resolutions is our key and our value is going to be an array. So we have, uh, and we have brackets here and then followed by curly brackets. We're going to have several options in our array. And what we wanted to use was title. So the title key is going to be uh, hello resolution number one. Or let's say, yeah, resolution number one. Okay. So now what we have is an array with a single object in here that just has title resolutions number one. So by defining this resolution object within our helpers here, we're now able to output resolutions in our HTML. So if we were to come here and simply say uh, resolutions like this with no, notice how there's no caret here, no greater than. If we come back to our page, we're getting this object object. Uh, essentially what's happening is that this is an object. It has a, a lot of items in it. So what we do with items to get out of them is we can iterate over them. So the way you would do that using this templating system is just by saying pound each resolutions. And actually we wanna move this inside of our UL, okay? So let's come in here. Okay, and now we're going to add one more of these, which is just double, and then what we have is a forward slash, and then the word each. This is essentially closing this loop. So now what's gonna happen is for every single item in resolutions, it's going to output this template resolution. Since we just have the words title in here right now, if we come to our page, we're not gonna be seeing anything other than title. However, what we now have access to is each individual item. So to output that, let's do it inside of our loop first. And we can simply say, let's get this auto completing out of here. We can simply say with two brackets, title, that's it. It's gonna look at our JavaScript and say, okay, this is the first item, here's the title, here's the text. If we come to our page, you'll see hello resolution and it's outside of our list. Now we can modify our list code by simply just saying uh, title right here instead of the text title. If we save this, you'll notice that inside of our loop, we now have hello resolution number one. 
Okay, so what it's doing is iterating over resolutions, coming to this template, seeing this template, and then outputting the value of title. So let's go ahead and add another object to this list. So I'm gonna put a comma here, copy this line, and add another one. So by resolution number two. Okay, and let's just add one more. And it's just gonna say uh, Kanye West. So when we save this, you'll notice that each item is getting added to the list. And if we come out to inspect this element in our inspect, you'll see that each one, like we'd expect, is being output within this UL. So like I said before, it's getting this object of resolutions saying for each one, do something. And that do something is hitting this template and then outputting the title here. Okay, so this was a lot of information because it's the first time we've worked with a lot of things like uh, helpers. It's the first time we've been displaying something. It's the first time we've iterated over anything. So what you should take away from this is that to iterate over an object of things, we just have these simple pound signs each and you end this loop with the forward slash each uh, this caret denotes that you're going into a template and what you're outputting is just simply as bracket bracket the key bracket bracket okay so like I said this might seem abstract at this point, but in the next video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to be pulling these resolutions from the database rather than from an array that's sitting in our template body helpers. And you'll get to see exactly how that works. And then after that, we're going to build a form that allows you to add new objects, new uh, resolutions, and we're going to get into editing, deleting, and all that stuff. Then you're going to have complete control over adding and removing things to the database database visually and it's going to be really awesome. So keep watching. We're going to get into all that very soon. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.